Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So as you may have read in the description, this is a home bargains haul mainly. Um, and I have picked up a few little bits from B&M as well, so I'll show you that at the end. Um, so yeah, it's been a while since I've been to home bargains and I thought, why not show you what I got? Because I did get quite a lot. I was needing a few things um, cleaning wise as well. So. I just decided to pick some stuff up whilst I was there and it's also my friend's birthday so I've been collecting little bits for her that I'm going to put into like a nice basket and make it look quite pretty so I'll show you what I got. So first off I got um, tea lights, I got three packs of the eight hour tea lights um, I burn wax melts every day in this house and I go through loads of tea lights so I just stocked up whilst I was at the shop so I got three bags of 8 hour tea lights I can't remember how much those were um, I don't know where the receipt's gone so I'll try and remember as much of the prices as possible but I don't think they were more than £2 a bag to be honest um, but there's 25 tea lights in each of the bags and like I say they're 8 hour burns um, and to go with those I got two new burners which I don't really need so I'm going to be doing a little giveaway over on my Instagram um, at some point and I'll give one of these away for the giveaway so that's quite good and these were $1.99 each I think so I love these ones I love that when you put the tea light in and um, this design um, goes all over the wall and um, it like shines onto the wall I love it so so nice the next thing I got was um, Viacal, I think that's how you say it, um, but I use this in our shower and bathroom. So I picked up that and it's the Febreze Fresh scent. Um, I can't remember how much that was either. Um, I'm thinking maybe $1.99 or something like that. Maybe not even as much as that, I don't know, but yeah, picked that one up. And the next thing is two more cleaning products. Um, I use these when I hoover the carpets upstairs and it's a Glade Shake and Vac. So I got Lily of the Valley because I've never, not actually tried that one. And I got my favourite, which is Magnolia and Vanilla. So I got these um, to try. Well, the Lily of the Valley to try because I use this one all the time. So I know that that smells really nice. So the next thing I got was another kind of cleaning product. And it was a Lenore Crease Releaser, and that was two ninety nine. I remember that being two ninety nine. Um, I've tried it on the bed in the spare room, but I think it's better on. I would be better on clothes. It was really hard to try and pull it straight, so it tells you like spray it, pull it, and smooth it, and then hang it up. So obviously it's made for clothes. So I haven't tried it on clothes yet, but smells incredible. Spring Awakening is my favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, scent from Lenore and that's the fabric softener that we use as well so um, yeah it smells lovely this one um, but I haven't tried it on clothes yet so I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work or not because like I say it was quite hard to do that on the bed but um, yeah that's definitely a, a good shout especially for like work shirts because not all the time I can be bothered iron, ironing them <laughs> oh that was a hard word ironing and well I can't even say it sometimes I can't be bothered ironing them and yeah I think this will be a time saver definitely just even if it's maybe just the arms a little bit crease or something so that's the Lenore crease releaser the next thing I got is part of um, my friend's birthday little basket that I'm making up so she I did ask her what she wanted for her birthday and she said she didn't know, she wasn't bothered, like don't bother getting her anything but I insisted, no I want to get you something so tell me what you need and she says I need a new candle and I got her one at Christmas and she said if you can get me one similar now I couldn't find the same candle but I found a similar scent in Home Bargains and it was the Hawaiian Breeze um, scented candle so this is from Wickford & Co and it's massive, <laughs> like this is huge and it smells so fruity and so summery, it's unreal and that was £2.99 from Home Bargains for this massive candle. Um, so, I'm, like I say, I'm going to be making up a basket full of stuff. Um, just like a little kind of treat pamper basket. Um, so that's going to go in that. Part of the pamper basket, I also picked up these little Redox bath bombs. So there's blueberry and raspberry. They smell amazing. 
I can't even explain to you how good they smell. And these were 99 pence each. So they were 99p for each bath bomb, which to me is incredible for 99p. And there's Redox, so I love Redox as well. So hopefully she'll like them. That's going to go in her little birthday basket. The next thing I got was this bubble tea um, strawberry bath fizzer. So can't really can't really smell it through, but um, I've heard good things about bubble tea. So hopefully that'll be quite good. I'll just show you that there. And that was one pound forty nine for that one. One pound fifty, I think it was. So um, that's also pretty good for a bath bomb. I hope they're good. I haven't obviously tried them, but like I say, I'm just making up a little basket full of loads of stuff. Um, the next thing I got for her little basket was the bubble tea hand sanitizer. She works on the railway, so I thought that might be quite good just to put in her pocket. That was 99 pence, I think, for that. And it's in the scent watermelon, so I thought that was quite good. Um, it says, don't drink me on it, as if you would drink that. I suppose I've got to warn people, but um, yeah, I'm sure that was only 99 pence or a pound for that one. Then I also got um, two sets of wax melts from that Wickford & Co. I'm not sure if that's a Home Bargains own brand, I'm thinking it might be. So I just thought, why not try these out? I've never tried them before and I like the smell of that candle and I noticed that they had them in the wax melts as well. Um, I do burn wax melts all the time, like I said before. I am a brand rep for the Smelts & Co, which if you do follow me on Instagram, you might already know that. And if you've watched my last video, you'll have seen it on that. Um, but because I burn constantly, I like to have options if I run out of my good ones, like obviously my smelt, the Smelts & Co ones, if I run out of those and I'm waiting to order more, then I like to have ones on backup. So I have tried one of the pineapple ones of these already. Um, I've got it burning downstairs and I put three cubes in one of the big burners that I've got down, downstairs as well. So I've got the pineapple one in the living room currently right now and this one on in the kitchen and oh my god they both smell amazing i just obviously don't know how long they're going to last because i've literally just lit them now um, but the smell is casting up the stairs i can smell the um, hawaiian breeze one the living room door shut so i can't smell the pineapple one but once i go downstairs i'll be able to see how good they are but i can <laughs> smell that one already up here so i suppose that's a good thing um and i think they were only 79 pence each so that's crazy 79 pence for Two, four, eight wax melts. Well, eight cubes. I think that's a pretty nuts. If they do last, then I mean, that's that's pretty good on my watch. If they're only seventy nine p, I mean, you could save an absolute fortune buying these. So next, I picked up um, <laughs> these little party straws. They're like summer kind of additions. So um, I got these to go in my friend's birthday hamper. She hates using <laughs> paper straws, and I seen these and I thought they're so cute. Like. I don't know, I just, I just thought she would love them. They're kind of summery and they were only 99 pence. So I don't know if you can see that there, but it says like very happy, pineapple paradise, um, take it squeezy and one in a melon. I just thought they were super, super, super cute and so summery. Um, and I got a couple of little things, cans of alcohol <laughs> to go in her basket that she can put these into. So I'll show you them after when I get into that bag. I've got so much stuff here. So next is the Garni tissue masks. Now I use these all the time. I love the tissue masks. And I got three, these were 1.99 each and normally they're like three pound in boots. So I thought I'll just stock up and then at least I've got some here. And um, so I got the lavender and hyaluronic acid one. That's the moisture bomb. And I also got the Sakura and hyaluronic acid, another moisture bomb and pomegranate and hyaluronic acid and um, which is a mo another moisture bomb obviously so yeah i got three of those um like i say i, I love the garni tissue masks so um when they were 1.99 i thought i'll just grab three <laughs> why not and also while i was in that kind of area and i picked up this coconut foot pack which was 89 pence my mum got stuart and i these um a couple months ago i think it was now, um, and we used them last week, we'd not used them, which seems really bad, but we thought, oh, we'll just keep them, have a nice chilled weekend, and then we'll use them. And they were really, really good. So, 
Um, I picked up another one, it was 89 pence for that. And you basically just put the bags on, leave them for 20 minutes and then take them off and your feet feel really, really nice. Um, and like I say, that was only 89p, so fabby. So like I mentioned earlier with those um, wax burners, I'm going to be giving one of them away. So I asked on my Instagram what kind of things you'd like to see on the giveaway and someone said wax melts and someone also said face masks and I thought they meant face, ma face masks as in like the health ones and they were like no like a, a beauty face mask. So I picked up these, they are um, Seventh Heaven Passion Peel Off, Manuka Honey Peel Off and Cucumber Peel Off masks so I thought they'd be quite good. So yeah, I picked up three of these and they'll be going in the giveaway along with a couple other things as well. So yeah, there was three Seventh Heaven masks. And I also picked up this little sheet mask, which I thought was so cute. It's a little shark sheet mask. So um, I might either keep that for myself or put that in the giveaway as well. I'm not quite sure yet, but I thought I'd give that a little try. It's a little sharky face mask. So next I picked up this little summer range. I picked up two of each because I am going to send one to my friend Sarah along with a little minky that I picked up in um, the range and it's Spongebob. <laughs> How incredible is that? I know this is a home bargains haul and a little bit of B&M but I just thought I would show you that because it's so super cute. That was 3 99 from the range. Love it. So I'm going to um, put some, one of these like one lot in with my friend's birthday and send some to Sarah just as a little kind of cheer cheer up package with the minky. So what you get is a little clay face mask, a sheet mask which is watermelon and also like a body lotion as well and they're like it's like a summer collection so it's like smooth and dreamy, rest in beach face and rest in beach face again it says like ideal for traveling which I think is amazing especially this body lotion like you can reseal it which I thought was really good. Um, obviously the sheet mask you wouldn't use again, but it's the same with the clay face mask. You could probably get a couple uses out of that because it's got like the seal up there. So, oh, it actually says four uses. I don't know if you would get four uses out of that though. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, that says four uses. So that I think that's pretty good. The face mask here was 79 pence. Incredible. The... Clay face mask was also 79 pence and the body lotion was 49 pence. So I think I might actually go back up um, next time I'm doing my food shop and just swing by and maybe get these for going on holiday because instead of taking an actual bottle of body lotion, I think these would be amazing just to chuck in even your beach bag or something. Um, and it's peach scented as well, which I think will be incredible. Um, and the face mask is aloe vera, which is, I love aloe vera, so. Um, yeah, so that was the, that little set there. There was two lots of each. The next thing I picked up for my friend's little birthday basket was a protecting light moisturiser. I thought that was quite good just for her to chuck in like her work bag or just her bag in general. Um, and that was 49 pence for a simple moisturiser. I love simple. Um, and because it's obviously sensitive skin, um, or kind to skin as you would say, um, you, you kind of can't really go wrong if you're buying it for someone but I just thought that might be quite nice for her work bag or just her handbag just to chuck it in and yeah just to put that in a in her little basket for her birthday. So another thing I picked up for my friend's birthday basket was this EOS lip balm um, Evolution of Smooth EOS, EOS I'm not really sure how you would say it but I used to get these when I used to go to Florida because they always had them over there and like um, Walmart and stuff at the um, sort of chemist area and I loved them. I love just chucking these in my bag and they're so easy to find if you put your hand into your handbag as well if you take like a big handbag. Um, but this one's cherry and bright and um, yeah I just thought that would be another nice addition to her little basket and that was it there. That I think that was £1.99 which is a steal so it was $1.99 for that little lip band. So the next thing I picked up was this basket. I think that was only 99 pence. And this is what I was going to put all her birthday stuff in. But I found another basket in B&M, which I thought was a little bit nicer. So I'm going to keep this one for all my wax melt stuff and um, like my tea lights and stuff. So I'm going to keep that. 
that's a present to me from me. But yeah, I think that was only about 99 pence. Either that was like a pound or something, but um, it's just like a storage basket, so it's quite good. So then I picked up this Make Your Own Tassel Garland. Um, it's my mum and dad's 30th wedding anniversary next week. And we're going to host like a little afternoon tea if it's nice weather outside. Um, and I was planning to hang these out either on the back of our fence or above our back door. Um, because we'll have like a little table outside set up so that they can come and have some afternoon tea and maybe a few drinks with us. They don't live that far away, so they can walk back home. Um, but I thought that was quite nice. I mean, if it fails, then it was quite cheap anyway. So, I mean, I'm not really that bothered, but I thought if it does work, it'll look really nice. So it's kind of got like silvery and then spotty. Looks quite cute. And that was, I think, 99 pence for that. That's why I wasn't really fussed if it doesn't really work out. So, um, yeah, that's from, like, their party section. Then we got some beer, which obviously isn't in this anymore. Um, it's currently chilling in the fridge for tonight. Um, but we picked up this Sol beer just for a little treat. It's nice to have um, beer from somewhere else, I think, as well. This kind of reminds you of being on holiday, I would say. So we picked this up and this was $8.99 I think for the case and you get 12 in that. So those little cans I was telling you about that I got for my friend's birthday basket was the Navigator Passion Fruit Martini and the Navigator Pink Gin and Tonic. So they're going to go in her little basket. Next I picked up, which is really delightful, um, the Toilet um, Domestos Power 5. Um, you just obviously hang them on the um, edge of your toilet. Um, these were £1.89 for a double pack and I've got two packs of them because we have three toilets in this house which is a nightmare to clean but um, yeah I really like these so I picked up two, two packs and like I say they were £1.89 I think each. Another toilet item, I got this um, Duck Deep Action Gel Floral Fantasy. I actually seen this on Mrs Hinch's um, Instagram I think yesterday or the day before um, and she said it smelled really nice. I know she probably thinks a lot of things smell nice, but um, I trust Mrs. Hinge with cleaning stuff. And I haven't tried this before, so I thought, why not just pick this up and give it a little bash? So it's floral fantasy, duck, toilet, duck, basically. <laughs> Next thing from the kind of cleaning area was a washing machine cleaner um, from Dettol, and that was $2.99. So we picked that up. We're going to clean our washing machine out. We do this quite a lot, and we always go for this one. Um, just to give it a good clean out and make sure their clothes are super clean, especially now um, during this whole situation. Um, but yeah, we like to make sure the, wash the washing machine is always kept clean. So we always buy this Dettol washing machine cleaner. So another thing I got from the cleaning area was these soda crystals. Um, I think they were 99 pence or 89 pence or something for the bag and also white vinegar spray. Now, same with Mrs Hinch. I see her using this all the time together and I think it's going to be good for our sinks and once in a blue moon we could maybe use this in the washing machine as well. So I picked up these soda crystals and white vinegar spray. So I've just emptied that bag out and there's another wax melt in there. I've got two of these Hawaiian Breeze ones just because they smell incredible. So yeah, got another one of them. So I picked up this Paw Paw Cream for Stuart a while ago because his hands were really dry. Um, online and I think it was about £8 and we seen it in home bargains for £2.50 so we got four <laughs> I got a tinted one because I thought that might be quite nice on my lips um, and we just got three of the normal because they're handy just to have um, in the house just in the cupboard just when we need to use them especially when they're only £2.50 when they're £8 on Amazon for the same size I mean we just thought we'll get them. There was hundreds in our local home bargains. There was all different coloured ones as well. Um, but I thought the pink might be quite nice. I've not tried it yet. So hopefully that'll be quite good. It might be quite nice on holiday. It says you can use it on your cheeks as well. But I don't know. I'll need to give it a try and let you all know. Um, we got these Cheetos Twisted Flame and Hot. Which they taste amazing. Honestly, they're so good. So we got two bags of them. And I also picked up a little treat of Magic Stars. They were only a pound, so I grabbed a little bag of Magic Stars. The next things I have are from B 
B&M. I quickly zipped to B&M to look for another wax melt burner. Um, and I had to pick up a couple of things in there that I couldn't get in home bargains. So I'll show you what I got. So I got my Dettol spray, which I use every single day on the beds and the door handles. I don't use it on the door handles every day, but I spray our beds every single day with this Dettol spray. Now, I couldn't find it in home bargains, but B&M had it, and I think it was $1.99 in B&M. So that's so good. And I picked up three of these. I've, I've put two in the cupboard, but um, I've got one in here to keep one in here for spraying our bed in the morning. So, yeah, got that which I couldn't obviously get in home bargains. So I showed you that grey tray that I picked up for my friend's birthday. But when I was in B&M, I found this cute pink one, which I thought would look so much nicer with all the stuff in. And it was only £2, so it's a square geo storage basket. And like I say, two, two £2. And I think just with the colours, everything's kind of pink and um, floral, I thought it would look much nicer in this little pink basket. And I found this when I was queuing <laughs> to go to the till because um, they make you queue down one of the aisles which is dangerous so yeah I got sucked in and it was only two pounds so it's not too bad also whilst I was waiting in those queue in that queue were these and they are salted caramel M&Ms now I'm going to gift one of these to my friend Sarah along with the minky and some of the face masks so one of them, are, one of them is hers and I picked up this for Stuart and I to share, so not tried them yet, obviously, and we'll see how they go. So the next thing you would have seen on my wax melt video is this little burner. It's kind of like Balinese inspired, I would say, um, and I loved it. And it actually looks like that's crying. What a shame. My wax is like dripped when I've taken that, taking the wax out. This is um, the strawberry daiquiri from Smelts and Co as well. I've been burning that up here. Oh, it smells so nice, honestly. It smells like a proper cocktail. Um, so I've got that one in grey, which was £3 exactly. I think I said in my wax milk video it was £3.99, but I kind of got another one and I double checked and it was £3. So <laughs> I have a white one and a grey one. <laughs> um, the white one's going to sit on our TV unit downstairs. I just felt like the white goes so much better with everything downstairs because all the furniture's white. Um, and I'll keep this little one in our room up here now. So I've got two of, them, two of them and they were £3 each. So that's my little haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know below if you've been on a massive shopping spree. I know it's not the most exciting stuff, but I just thought, why not show you what I got? And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I love watching people's haul videos. I know that sounds really sad, but I like to see what people get when they go. Everybody always buys different stuff, so I thought, why not just show you what I've got because I love watching what other people get. Um, it's a kind of mix between home, beauty, and obviously some of that was gifts as well. So um, I will show you the box all made up for my friend, and I'll show you that now. So this is a little basket all made up um, for my friend. It's hard to try and fit all of that in. I didn't realise how kind of small the basket was compared to all the stuff that I've got her. But I just thought that was quite nice. It's just a little bit of everything. And I love that little basket as well for £2 out of B&M. Like that seems quite sturdy as well. So that's good. And that's everything in there. I would love to get that. I don't know if it's just me being biased because I've obviously bought it all. But um, I just thought it was a little mixture of everything because she didn't really know what she wanted. She knew she wanted a candle, but that was it. So I've just made her up this little hamper. So hopefully she likes that. And that's my little haul video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know below if you did. And feel free to subscribe as well. It would mean so much to me if you did. So have a good day and see you later.